gosh, I heard that you got me some food. I am so hungry and you know what? I love pies so much. So thank you so much for giving me a raspberry pie. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, we are unveiling the raspberry pie. We're jumping on the bandwagon. Now I got this raspberry pie from AliExpress and it came in two weeks. It was estimated to take a month, but it took two weeks, boom, it's here. Now, you're wondering, what is a raspberry pie? Well, that doesn't look like what I'm expecting. <laughs> See, a raspberry pie is actually a mini computer. Oh. And why is the mini computer good? One, because it's affordable. It's a lot cheaper than previous in the past mini computers. My last video, I had a mini computer review. It was more expensive than this whole pack. This whole kit is a kit of Raspberry Pi. It's not just a pie, some other stuff. So There's a good kit. So it's, it's cheaper than mini computers and you can do lots of attachments. So for example, what is that over there? This, this is a power adapter, like a power plug. This is a plug, which, what's that over there? And this is a remote control. Yeah, yeah. This is a power plug that is, operates via RF frequency. So this is a receiver. This is a transmitter. You press a button, you can turn them on. Guess what kind of module you can get for this Raspberry Pi? What can you get? You can get RF adapter. So you can get your garage going up and down. You can get these power plugs going on and off. That's you can even cool. get a rain sensor. So when it rains, it automatically does some stuff. A weather sensor. All of these kind of amazing attachments you can get. And you can turn it into a VPN. Do you know what a VPN is? <laughs> Tell me what a VPN is. <laughs> A VPN is a virtual private network. Why do you need a VPN? There you go. Why do you need exactly why? why do you you probably don't need it? But if you're ever out and about on your own, access your home network, you use a computer that's already on your network as a tunnel, a gateway, so you go from the world back into your home network. People do it all the time when they want to access the internet. Do you know sometimes you want to go on your mobile phone using your mobile network and then you go on those dodgy websites and it always says blocked. You need to be over 18, blocked. You need to give us your credit card details with, with a VPN. You can tunnel back into your home network and go to that website and send the traffic back. Got Boom. it. Boom. Got it. Yeah, secure. And this is a mini computer. It's a mini computer. So how does the screen work? So let's let's, let's open it up. Okay, Profes me. Professional wow. box unboxer. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, you, you're hungry. But I'm, I'm still hungry. hungry. You're I'm hungry for I'm knowledge hungry now. Hungry for knowledge. Hungry for knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm excited. It's cool that you can get these modules, isn't it's it? It's so cool. I'm excited about Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Okay, so what have we got here? We have got a charging cable, so that's pretty cool. So even though it's mini computer, it still just does require charging. This is the case. This is a case. Oh. Yeah. That's the case for the computer? That's the case for the computer. Oh my God, it's we tiny. Wowzers. Okay, okay, what else have I got? So I've got some, um, I'm not too sure what this is. This is like some stuff that you're going to have a look at. There is a mini disc over here as well. So it comes with a SanDisk Micro SDXC. Excited! Get us the charger. Oh my gosh, is this the computer? It's inside there. Are you serious? Inside there. This is a mini computer. Yeah, we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you everything, all the components. Now, interestingly enough, I got this guy again from AliExpress. Yeah, I got a kit. Comes with all the features you need, other than a keyboard and a monitor and a mouse. However, I just saw because there's so many listings of this device here. I just saw that if I would have spent just another twenty dollars. I would have got one with a monitor, one wow. with a keyboard, all this kind of stuff. Oh it's gosh. really cheap monitors. You can even get a case that has a touchscreen display, turn it into kind of like mobile phone, except it doesn't have a battery, but you can turn it into some cool stuff. And how affordable is this in comparison to say like a MacBook? <laughs> completely different league, okay. but a completely different level of okay. performance. Okay. Let's open this. I can be excited about I'm this. I'm so excited. I'm just intrigued that this is a mini computer. Yeah, a lot of people, they use this to get into like the world of programming, little kids can play with computers. Okay. You can do remote control cars, all this kind of like cool accessories you can get on top. So yeah, they go on. Wow, gosh. Show yeah, I the love raspberry. that it's actually, it's got a raspberry on it. That's pretty cool. Raspberry Pi for computer, eight gigabytes of RAM. So should I just open up like this? Wow. Okay, let's have a look together, guys. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, cool. What do you do with this? <laughs> It's like bare bones. This is the computer, yeah. So you can see oh that guy over here, that's a CPU. This allows you to add extra modules on it. So you can get the rain sensor, wow. the RF sensor, all this kind of stuff. Over here, you know what this oh, stuff wow, is. Look at that. That's the USBs. Yeah. And then you get an Ethernet adapter. So you can plug in wired. But this also has a Wi Fi module built in. So you can also connect via Wi Fi. No way. So this is just a bare bones computer. Wow. 
that's it. Look, there's the raspberry pie. That is right too there. cool. Right there. I this can't believe this. Wow. So you're asking what this is? Yeah. This is the case. You I understand this. This is now the computer case. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like if you want to get into the whole world of electronics or this kind of stuff, it's like a fun startup it, project. You know, it too. definitely is fun because it's so nice seeing that there is this like, is this the motherboard then? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice seeing the motherboard in person rather than it being it all boxed up into an actual computer. This so you were, you were cool. saying what's the difference between this and a MacBook? Yeah. Well, a MacBook, you're gonna have to use special screws, special True. tools to open it up. And when you open it up, you're gonna make damage and- But within Mac the Mac, has got something like this though, right? Of course, yeah. So I've got a MacBook right here. Yeah, except you obviously damage different it. leagues of performance. Of course. But interestingly enough, the new Macs are actually based on this technology. Wow. So previously, Macs used to use Intel and AMD, but they switched over recently to ARM. And this is arm based. There you go. Yeah. You learn things every day on this channel. So that's cool. Yeah, this cool. comes with a mini or micro HDMI to full size HDMI. So you don't need to get one of these cables yourself. This guy is the power adapter, as you can see. It's got an on off switch, just like that. Oh, that's cool. And it's powered via USB C. So you plug it in right there. That's the power. And then you plug your monitor with this cable around the back here. And then you plug your keyboard, mouse either Ethernet or connected via Wi-Fi. Can you put any monitor with it or does it have to be a specific monitor or keyboard? Anything that's HDMI compatible. Wow. Yeah. So you could have like a really big setup and it's all powered by this teeny weeny little thing. And what the good thing about this is, you, it's more about like thinking, what can you do with a little computer that you wouldn't do on a main computer? You're always kind of like working on it, you're doing stuff, but with a mini computer, with all these kind of like modules, attachments, you want to think out the box, like maybe you will make like a, a robot that does your laundry presses a laundry button. Wow. All these gadgets that you saw in the 80s and 90s, cool. you've got this little mini computer that can do I love it. That. So hit that subscribe button on this channel because we're gonna be doing some fun projects with this bad boy. Can't wait. I wanna straight away do my my smart home automation, the RF or the remote firing cool. automatically, oh get a rain gosh. sensor, get all these different modules. And I wanna do a VPN so I can tunnel into my network in the world. This guy over here, what do we get? We got, this is a USB adapter for your SD card. Here, you get a fan, so you get to oh plug in God, the fan. Oh my God, that's so it's, cute. So, <laughs> Look at that. you get to plug in the fan, one of these little modules. This, these are heat sinks over here. So you get to put the heat sinks on the processes yourself. We've got four of them. So the big one goes with the big one, the little one, the little one, they got the sticky tape. This is so sure much fun. Cool. I feel like I'm back in like school when you do design technology yeah. and you get to learn how to like solder wire and stuff. It is. You make it, a little circuit. It's exciting, but it's also, you can do cool stuff with it. So yeah. we're just setting up right now. This is the SD card to come with it. It's great that it comes with that. I just got the maxed out model, the 128 gigabyte version, but you can of course just get the bare bones Raspberry Pi and get all these extra stuff yourself. You don't have to. Oh. It comes with a manual as well. Manual. Look at the manual. So it even tells you um, where it says, don't do it to high temperatures. It says, if you have any difficulty, contact raspberrypi.org. Um, don't touch, it says, don't touch these areas with your fingers Oops. and always keep it <laughs> elevated and hold it only by its sides like so. So you're not actually supposed to touch the motherboard. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize, Rosary Pie. I'm going to get uh, now um, sued for inappropriate behavior with uh, motherboards. With a Raspberry Pi. You know what? This is so much better than a Raspberry Pi because it actually does stuff for you and it doesn't give you calories. So what I want to know is, good one, by the way. What I want to know is, as an Alienware fembot, Yes. How do you feel about this computer? Warning, warning, warning. Cancer and reproductive harm. Visit www.p65warnings.ca.gov. What does that mean? It means that if you eat this board, you may encounter some difficulties. Okay, so as long as you don't eat it, you should you should be okay. Yes. Thank you, Vembot, from the future. You are welcome. Right. I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. And it's gonna be an easy setup, but we'll do that in the next video because it's gonna be so much fun. But for now, shall we turn this baby on and see yes. the lights up? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. This plugs in. Let's just turn it on. Come on. One this one second. goes in the USB. Boom. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? <gasps> oh, oh. That's it. Bravo. Yeah. So there you go. It's fully functioning right there. We're going to plug it in and set it up and do the case in the next video. So hit that subscribe. And then we're going to be doing RF control videos, VPN videos. What kind of ideas so do you want? So excited. I want it to clean my house up electronically. Hope you guys found this video <laughs> useful and enjoy the show. Whoa. Whoa. 
to work. <laughs> oh man, clean your house up. Uh huh. Yeah. And do my dishes. And put the washing machine on. And the dishwasher. <laughs> Take out the laundry. <laughs>